So let's talk about how we can save energy uh, with windows. And this house was built in the 30s, and it has very traditional double-hung wooden windows, and the top and a bottom sash, and a, a sash lock. And one of the easiest things that people forget to do in the wintertime is just lock the sash, because this pulls the two sashes together and helps to seal this gap. Otherwise, you get a lot of cool air coming up from between them. This window is also, open it up again, a little bit of play here. You can sort of hear that rattle. So we're going to show you how to put some really simple and easy to install weather stripping on this that will make it nice and tight. And we're using this product, which is called V-Seal. It's very simple. And, and what is that? All it is is a piece of vinyl um, with an adhesive backing on one side and then just plain. And the way you use it, it's going to go in the window channels on either side. And we can also put it on the bottom right behind the sill. And you fold it in half. All I need is the scissors. But you, you measure out how much you need. So let's say we're doing the, the bottom here. So just kind of get an idea. Fold it in into a V-shape, hence the name V-seal. See, looks like a little V now. Mm -hmm. And you're going to position it so that the V, the open part of the V, is facing toward the outside. Like where you imagine the drafts coming in and getting caught in this open V. So that's that's an easy way to remember which way to put it because mm -hmm. people sometimes get confused. And all you got to do is peel off the backing. And oh, there's way. And for the bottom, just behind the sill, I like to put it. There you go. Right down here. You don't even see it, but it's there doing its job. Just press it right into place. There we go. Well, that's pretty simple. It is really simple. You know, hardly any tools required. Um, I have already put a piece on this side. And we're just going to test the window. This is good to do. See if the window will close OK for you um, when you've got a couple pieces on. And then if you need more, you can always put more. Look, looks good to me. Does it lock? Nice and tight. Remember before I could rattle it, now I can't budge it. So let's talk about um, older houses with steam or hot water radiators. Because this house is a particularly good example because it's stone on the outside and I know that there's no insulation in these walls and you can feel them even today. It's not that cold out. These walls are cold. Yeah. And so in the winter time, a cold wall like this is going to make you feel even colder and you're also going to lose a lot of the heat from your radiator right into the wall. It's just going to conduct the heat away. So to solve that problem, we have a super easy fix. And this is, this is part of it. This is called radiator reflector. It's very simple. It's like almost like bubble wrap with uh, two silver mylar coatings. And you're, we're going to put this right behind the radiator, between the radiator and the wall. And what it's going to do is when the radiator's hot, it's not, it's not very warm today, it's going to reflect that heat right back out into the room. So if you're sitting in that nice comfortable chair, you're going to get the benefit of that rather than the wall, the cold wall sucking it up. Is it effective if you cut it to the exact size of the radiator, or do you have to have a little extending out at the top in either? Yeah, room? that's a good question. That's sort of personal preference. If you want, if you don't, some people don't like to see this at all, and so they cut it so to be concealed completely by the radiator. Other people say, oh, "I want the maximum coverage," mm -hmm. and so just leave it like that. But it's just easy to cut. I'm just going to say we'll cut it about here. Pull it out. Cuts easily with the scissors. Just pull it back in position. You can also trim it a little bit off the top if you don't want to see that silver, that silver look. Um, and make sure um, this this radiator is pretty tight to the wall, and so you want to put a little piece of tape. That's why I would probably trim this right below the window frame here, um, so I could push it with a little piece of double stick tape or something like that, so it sticks against the wall and it doesn't touch the radiator because this is a sort of plastic coating and it might melt if it's in direct contact with the radiator. So let's talk about doors, because we just covered windows, and doors are another place where you lose a lot of energy around the edges and at the bottom. And as you can see on this door, if you step back, there's a pretty good 
gap right here, I can, I can fit my finger in it. And then at the bottom, there is also a gap. I can feel, I can feel cold air. Feel that? Yeah, it's coming in. There's a little breeze. Yeah. So this makes your feet freeze <laughs> in the winter. And so to, a solution for that is a door sweep. Here's one. And it goes on the, on a door that swings in, it goes on the inside of the door. And we're just gonna, you're gonna put it at the very bottom, uh, positioning it so that the rubber, which is this bottom part, is just touching the door threshold. This one's a little bit long, so we're gonna have to cut it. And what I like to do is cut it at this end, the hinge end, so that you don't have any raw cut metal edges, you know, out where people could, you know, touch it potentially. 